Hello everybody, Glanderman here. So now that we've learned how to use the if statement, the for statement, and, or the for loop, and the while loop, uh, let's actually use them. So what we're going to do is basically just have the robot drive randomly. Um, so for now we're just going to delete uh, the for statement here, for loop, um, and we're going to do random stuff now. So in order to get random variables, we need to implement the random class. So we're just going to make this as a global variable, just for ease of use. So type in random with a capital R, and then uh, we're just going to call it ram. And then add a semicolon, and you're going to see that it's going to say that that's an error for right now. And we're going to implement the one from the java.util or utility class or package, uh, and not from the jcraft uh, packages. So just press enter, and you'll see it automatically adds the import statement there. Down here, we need to initialize the random class, just like we did with the pilot. So when type ran is assigned new random, just like that. And so now we have access to a random number generator, basically, that is built into the EV3. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to repeat this forever. So we're going to do a while loop after that, and then we're just going to have it repeat forever, so we're just going to type in true so that it never exits. So now that's looping there, and we're going to have it drive forward, and then choose a random direction to turn. So we're just going to type pilot.travel, and we're going to make it travel 12 inches, similar to how we have it in the travel and rotate method. Now, we're going to uh, go to the if statement again. So we're going to say if ran dot next boolean, right there. So basically that will be a random yes or no, or true and false. So we're going to call that. And so now this if statement will be randomly yes or no. So we're going to just uh, arrow over and open the brace. Press enter or return. And if this does equal true, which uh, this would do if it returned true, then we're going to have it rotate to the right. So we're going to call pilot.rotate. And we're going to type in 90, so that it turns 90 degrees to the right. Now we're going to go into a little bit more of the if statement. So uh, sometimes you want to check to see if something is true, and if it's not, then you're going to want to do something else. So that's called an if-else. So we just basically extend our if statement and type else and do an open brace there. So now if this statement, the random, is a true, then it will call this here. Else, it'll say, let's rotate, oops, and rotate negative 90 degrees. And now we've got our robot doing a little bit of random movement. So now, forever, it will travel forward 12 inches and pick a direction to turn. It will then turn that direction and then jump back up to the beginning of the while loop and travel 12 inches and repeat that forever um, until you uh, fourth quit the EV3. So that's where this starts to get a little bit more advanced, and you can start to see where your robot can actually start to think, um, aside from, you know, just a random movement. But thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!